Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a berrylicious DIY for you. I will be showing you how I make my primitive strawberries and faux blackberries. The strawberries and blackberries are then tucked away in their own little vintage berry basket. Let's get to it. Hi friends. To make the faux blackberries, what you're going to need is some of these teeny tiny foam balls. As you can see, I put mine in a jar because these things will go all over the place. So I just put them all in here and then I can put a lid on them and use them when I need them. Toilet paper. Yep, just plain old toilet paper. And you'll take one sheet, tear it off, if it's two ply, go ahead and separate them. And make a pile. One sheet is one blackberry. You'll need your hot glue gun. And I'm using the setting of low temp so I don't burn myself. Some toothpicks. I'm going to be using um, some paints, the pure black, and then I picked up eggplant just for a tint. They're blackberries, but I want that tint of purple. So again, this is pure black and eggplant. When we're done, I am going to seal mine. I don't have any regular Mod Podge, so I just, I'm just going to use my fabric Mod Podge. And I have made a couple, and look how cute. They're already starting to look like real blackberries. And don't worry about the strings from the hot glue gun. I'll show you how to get rid of those. And you can shape them as you go along. And then we'll snip them and then I'll show you how to add a leaf at the bottom. And then I just have this little foam thing that came in a package for something we ordered. And then I'm just sticking those in just like that, so that I can kind of count how many I have. And then I do five or six. This is where I rolled the toilet paper on. And then I'll just stick those on. But let's go ahead and make a couple here. And I just take the toilet paper, the long edge, fold over, And then I roll five or six times. So that's two, three, four, five. And then I'm adding a couple dabs of glue. Put them together. Just like that. You're just going to have a strip. And I, I do make like a pile. The next step, you take your toothpick. You take one of your strips. Put a dab of glue on. Catch that in there. And start rolling. And it does get kind of messy. Probably because I don't like to use the glue gun and I'm not very good at it. And then when you have a strip like this, put a dab of glue down in that corner. 
and just catch it like that. Now when you have something where there's a gap, like right here, you can just add another dab of glue in there. And close up that gap. And again, don't worry about the strings. They're going to be everywhere. And then I put this on my foam like that. So I have some rolls. And to make it a blackberry, this is the fun part. You're just going to put glue all over, and I have tried white glue, I have tried Mod Podge, um, just did not work for me, and I just do this number, just squish it all around. And here is the fun part. Take your jar and just swirl it around in here. And I just kind of tap it off. And then I take my little thing, my little silicone spatula, and just kind of pat it down. And if you end up with holes that you want to fill, that's fine. Just put a little glue in the holes. I don't know if you can see, but I'm not worried about that because we are going to paint these. How cool is that? Just like that, you have a blackberry. And I'll show you that again, the whole process. We just took the sheet of paper, sheet of toilet paper. This has a hole in it, but we're not worried about that. And then we're going to fold it up five or six times. Dab of glue here. Toothpick. Start rolling. It's a tedious project, but it's so easy, and you just take a little time and make a bunch. Take your little spatula just like that and again if you have any parts that kind of like that if you have anything you want to fill you can add a little glue in there Just like that. We are going to seal these with the Mod Podge. The magic then happens with making the actual faux blackberry. And I'm probably using a lot of glue here. Again, that's me not really using the glue gun all that often. And then swirl, swirl, swirl. Tap, tap, tap. 
pull off what you don't want, grab that spatula, and you can shape your blackberry. There you have it. We have another blackberry for our collection. And it is that simple. Some toilet paper, the little foam beads, some toothpicks. Some people use floral wire. That would be too thin, I think, for me. I think, to me, the toothpick represents it came off of a vine. So it has that texture. When I come back, we'll do some painting. I do want to add in here how I'm making the little stems. The little leaves for our blackberries that go on the bottom. And it would go on just like that. I will be painting these green, but I'm simply taking a square of fabric, whatever size you want for your particular blackberry. I, these are about one inch. Here's a close up of that. But let me show you how I cut those out. Fold over a triangle. It's kind of hard with one inch, but you'll get the hang of it. Here's another triangle. And another triangle. Here is the folded part. And here is this part. It's where we... It's the open, the last open part. And you just snip a tiny piece off. And there you have it. And they won't come out perfect, which is fine. I'll show you one more time. Triangle. triangle and then a third triangle here is that folded part so you'll pinch that and bring it around because we're going to cut on the open-ended side and just snip and here's another one How about one more time? Triangle. Triangle. And a triangle. And you'll want to pinch those. Here is the folded side. Here is the open side. And just snip at an angle. And there you go. And then you would just fold it and snip a tiny, tiny hole to slide on that toothpick. Just like that. I'm going to make 24 of those. I'll get them painted and I'll be back. I painted the stem leaves with this leaf green. You can just use a toothpick to hold it down and then brush it on. 
and it's okay if they curl up because we want those to um, mimic nature, right? And I'm not worried about the white spots because I may go in with some coffee stain and just grunge those up a little bit. We've got all of our blackberries done and I think they turned out fantastic. Now would be the time to take a blow dryer and blow away any of the extra hot glue that you don't want on there. And it'll blow away any balls that may be loose. And if there's any holes that you want to fill, now would be the time to do that as well. I have some pure black matte folk art paint. And then I'm going to add just a drop of the eggplant the folk art matte eggplant paint and we will begin painting about that much to start and then we'll do a tent of the eggplant about that much stir that up make sure it's the color that you want I'm using a sponge brush so that I can kind of dab it on as I go along. We still have them on the long toothpick. And just dab that right down in there. Getting into all the crevices. Just so there's no white showing at all. This is where a mini paint sprayer would come in handy, right? And there you have it, a blackberry. And it looks very realistic. And the last step after it dries is I'm going to add the Mod Podge hard coat to seal it up. I'm going to paint the rest of these and I'll be right back. The blackberries have all been painted. And look how realistic they look. I'm going to put these out to dry. And then I'll be adding the hard coat, my Podge hard coat. We'll add the little leaves. and snip off the ends and we'll be all set. We are now ready for the final assembly of our blackberries and look how realistic these look. This is with the hard coat dried. The next step is to put a dab of hot glue at the bottom grab a stem leaf And it has a hole in the bottom and just bring that up and stick that on 
like that. And you can shape those leaves up around like that. And then we will simply trim off just like that. And then you may want to file that down if you want or just rub on it. But now we have a blackberry. Just like that. And I just poked that hole out so next time it'll be easier to bring that up through. But yep, you just grab Dab on the bottom. You could use regular glue for this too. Bring that up. Just like that. Cut that off. And just like that, we have finished with the blackberries and we're going to move on to the strawberries. What you will need to do for the strawberries is to cut out a template just like this. It's an oval and then the oval will have a flat bottom. Mine is about It's exactly three inches tall, and the widest point is two and a half inches. You'll need three pieces for each strawberry of that, and then you'll cut out a template for the leaf for the strawberry. And this has, it's a star, seven points. And you'll need one of these for the top of the strawberry. The next thing we will do is sew, take two pieces of your strawberry and make a 1 8 inch seam allowance on one side. Then you'll open it up Pin at the third piece of the strawberry and do a 1 8 seam allowance. And then you'll bring these two together and do another 1 8 inch seam allowance, and your strawberry will be ready to be stuffed. Uh, you'll hand sew along the top. And you'll want a stronger thread for that because you're going to tie it off. So I'm going to the sewing machine and I'll sew the 1 8 seam allowance here and the 1 8 seam allowance here. Once you've sewn it, it will look like this. We'll turn this inside out. Poke out if you need to. And we will stuff this. I'm just using this uh, polyfill crafter's choice, um, but you can use anything that you want to use to stuff it with. Kind of measure with my hand. I think that's going to be enough. 
I've got a needle and thread. I've knotted it. I'm coming in through the inside. And I'm just going to do a running stitch around the edge. There we go. Push down on that fiber fill. Pull it tight. Just like that. Make a knot. And there you have it, the beginning of our strawberry, and it's starting to look like one. Do that for all of the strawberry bodies that you'll be making. I'm making 24, I believe. When I have those done, I'll be back. I've got all of the strawberries sewn up, and they kind of look like this. And I think they're looking pretty close to strawberries. Now it is time to paint the strawberries and the leaves. I am going to spritz these with some water so the it'll help the paint to absorb. You don't have to do this step. It just helps it. absorb the paint and I will also water down my acrylic paint and again if you're if you may only make a couple of these I I'm doing four baskets and each basket will have six in it if I counted correctly So we'll get the strawberries painted. I'm using barn red and I'm hoping that this will be the good color. I didn't want to go too bright because I do want them to be prim. So we'll see. Stir this up a little. Might be too much, but we'll see. It is a watery consistency. We'll see. And I am going to use like a stick here. I think this will be fine. It's still warm here in Wisconsin, so I can just put it, I think I'll just hold on to them. I think I'll just put them out in the sun to, to dry. I think this is a beautiful color. And I like using this sponge because it goes on so much easier. I'll be back to show you after I've got the strawberries painted as well as the leaves. Our strawberries have been painted and they are dry. They are so cute and, and the leaves are dried as well. Look how cute. Now we just have to put the little seeds on. To do that, I'm using a doll needle. A light colored embroidery thread. And we're just going to go randomly around the strawberry.
Next, we'll hand sew that leaf to the top and we'll, we're ready to grunge those. So we've got the end knotted. First, let's go through the top so we can hide that knot. And it might be a little difficult because it is tight at the top. Now we'll come through the bottom here. There we go. And we'll be able to hide that with the, the leaf. And then just come in, we're just making little seeds, come over to this side, and it makes the little dimple. In here, and over to the other side. And we have another dimple. In here we'll go to the other side. You don't want to go in the same hole. Pull through, we have another dimple, go here, and let's see where we need another one. We need a dimple here, come in here, and you'll just continue to go over your strawberry until you have all the seeds that you want. Just kind of looking to see where you need them. So I'm going to work on all 24 of my strawberries. And then I'll be back when I have that part done. Our strawberries have seeds. How cute are these? And they have the leaves sewn on. Now they're ready for their coffee stain bath. And in my coffee stain, I've got coffee instant coffee and vanilla, and cinnamon. So we'll do that. And then we'll sprinkle some cinnamon and cloves on them. And they will be ready to be packaged in the berry baskets. And I will show you how I will do that. But these just turned out so darling. I've just got a glass egg platter here to put them on. And we're just going to dab them. With that mixture. Just like that. Take some seasoning. Oops, maybe a little much on that one.
And not only will they look primitive, but they will smell primitive. Look at that. I love that. When I get them all done, I'll be back. We almost have them ready. I just want to tell you one other tip. This one, I did four of them like this, but I did some French knots on, on this one. Um, but the reason to use the light colored thread is so that you can really grunge them up. So when you are painting your coffee stain on, Make sure you get the threads and that will just add to the effect. I kind of dab and rub and dab and rub, get in all the nooks and crannies. Guys, these smell so good. And I think they look good, too. I meant to make 24 because I want to put six in each basket. And then I counted them, and I have 23. So I think what I will do, that is typical for me, I think I lost one probably in the wind when I left them outside to dry. I may go in the yard and look for it tomorrow. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I get a little heavy handed with this cinnamon too. But I think what I'll do is I'll do three baskets that have the six and then I'll make a little bag that just has the strawberries. Or I may do something different. Now when I, I'll let this dry overnight. Look how cute. They are really grunged up. I'll let this dry overnight, come back, take a peek, and see if anything needs a little more. This one looks like it could use a little more. And then I'll just shake them off. There we go. And then I'll shake them off. We'll make those baskets tomorrow. We'll put our blackberries in there. We are almost there for the Berrylicious reveal. But let me know what you think. I probably went a little heavy handed with the spices, but that's okay, right? We're supposed to have fun. And if you know Prim, you know. You can't have too much. I will be back to show you how to put those baskets together. Those will be fun, and we'll see how they look. Our strawberries have dried. I just let them dry overnight, and look how grungy they turned out. They are perfectly prim. Now it's time to get them into the basket. I printed off on some old typing paper these words, blackberries and strawberries. We'll start with the strawberries and I'm just going to cut out one of these and show you how we put together And I just used an old typewriter font, and this will go on here.
just like that, but straight. But first, I'll be adding some Distress Ink to the, to the labels. And I'm using the Walnut Stain, of course. I use Walnut for everything. And then I need to decide where I want this to keep it consistent. I'll just measure down where I want it and make some marks, maybe an inch, I'm thinking. Kind of like that. Center it the best you can and make a mark so that I can punch a hole. I'll use my crocodile to go down and punch that hole. I have these two brads and we'll just put one in each of the holes like that. Come on this side and just bend them down. And we'll do that on the other side. And we'll put strawberries in there. And I got these label holders several years ago. And it looked just like that. And I think I will put a dab of glue because these berry baskets are warped. So I may need to put a dab of glue in there to hold that. The next step is to fill our basket. This is coffee dyed. We'll use that to fill the basket. And whatever you have to fill it with is fine. I have filled the basket as such and then trim off any raffia that's hanging around or stick it back in there. Next we will need to put our little hanger for the basket on and I have my rusty wire and I'm going to take about I'm going to eyeball it. That's about, I'm going to go about 24 inches because we're going to curl it. So just grab um, some wire cutters, snip that off. And I just take any uh, wooden dowel type, anything that's round and then curl it around
just like that and just start twirling it. And this will be our cute little hanger for the basket. And we're almost to the end. And you'll want about a half inch that is not curled. Pull it off, pull it apart, and then this will be our hanger for our basket. And we're going to take our crocodile again, set it to about a half an inch, I would say. Punch a hole. Punch a hole on the other side. And then this end that we left a half inch on, go ahead and put that in the hole. And then just use something to curl A set of these pliers to make a curl to hold that in there and I'll probably end up gluing that down and the same with the other side you just want to curl that up into a, a, a knot if you will So that it'll stay just so that it's curled and it won't come out of there. And now we have our basket here, just like that. And then I'm going to take some of my coffee stained cheesecloth. And just lay those in there. As such. And my plan was to put six of the strawberries in there. But I think five will be just fine. And just arrange them how you'd like them. Just like that. And then it's got strawberries on the front in the label. And I think these turned out so adorable. So when I get them all done, I'll be back to show you how I style them. And we will do one, we'll do two baskets of the blackberries. Just 
just like that. So I'll be back to show you how we style these. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And if you're returning, thank you so much. And if you have found value in this video, please like and comment.